Hi guys, it's me, Beck, and today's video is on a problem I have. I have an obsession. It's very... I've had it for about five months now, and it's just kind of grown and grown and grown. It's with a magical thing called succulents. This one has a weird thing sticking out of it, I'm going to cut it off. Succulents have been a big thing in Australia for a while. Fun fact, I don't know if they've been big anywhere else for a while, but... Hopefully that doesn't kill the plant. Don't know what that's meant to do, but my friend said it should be fine. This one's my favourite one. Then I've got flukes with plants in them. Oh crap, I broke it. There's this one, and this one, which is... Oh, see, look, it's pretty. This one's prettier. These are all from my mum's garden. Oh yeah, I was telling you a story about succulents in Australia. And this one. Where I live, we had like a huge drought for pretty much since I was born. We went for like 10 years. It was crazy. So we all had to go, like, so everyone had to go out and buy these plants that were like drought tolerant. That's what succulents are. And they look cool too. So you go outside into my mum's garden. It is filled with succulents and they're all really cool. I know they've been a big thing in like everywhere else. Because I guess everywhere else has droughts too, but like, I don't know. Do you guys have them where you guys live? Like, it's a huge thing. Like, before the, um, succulent in a whiskey glass. Or scotch glass, I don't know, I don't drink. So then another pretty one. This is my oldest succulent that I've had in my room. It sits in front of my books on my bookshelf. These ones here, they sit on my desk next to a globe and my money. That one has cobweb on it. Lovely, great for Halloween. Next one is my aloe vera one because I wanted aloe vera in my room because uh, it's cool and I was hoping I could like pluck it off and put it on my sunburn if I ever got sunburn, which happens all the time for me because I can't ever remember how to wear sunscreen. This is my aloe vera. I'm waiting for it to grow and look pretty. I still had it in mom's garden too. This is the oldest one I've had. It's in a ramekin, like this one here. These two were my oldest ones. And then the other ones I did it all at once because <laughs> the effort I put in to make my room look gorgeous. I just yeah. this one it really annoys me because it's not in the middle. It drives me insane. So they're my succulents and that's my obsession. It's pretty bad. I need to stop. Because I've got one seven at the moment. And I run out of things to put them in. I think I've got one every single one from my mum's garden. I've only ever bought two of them, which is this one and this one. And I've just been like, I don't know what you call them, grafting or, grafting or, I don't know, I don't do whatever it is that gardeners do. I'm not a gardener. That's what I'm not. I'm not a gardener. So therefore I don't know what to, it's been me back and that's been today's video. And I haven't sung at all in this video. It's kind of making me sad. Maybe I should sing more. Anyway, better go do something with my life. It's been me back, and I've probably already said that, but anyway, tally ho! Boom.